Hey friends, welcome to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori, this is my husband Brian, and our dog Milo, and his ball. He has to have his tennis ball, it's part of his contract. Okay, tonight we're going to talk about Big Brother 22 All-Stars. This is episode 21, it's veto night. Alright, so on the block we have Kevin, the block guru, and Davon, the magnificent. So, they're up there, not happy about it. No. Yeah. Anyway, but let's talk about Memphis and his power trip. Oh, Lord. Okay. So Memphis compiles his alliance, and he tells everyone to throw the veto to Kevin and Dave on because he wants to backdoor David. He tells everybody what to do. He doesn't say, what do you all think? Yeah, he's not suggestive. He's just like, I'm the dictator, and I run the ship. Yes, and I mean, did he really think that all of these players are going to be like, whatever you say, Memphis, are like, really? Like, they, yes. the people that he has in his alliance, Danny, really, she's going to do that, Tyler. Yeah, so they, meaning Tyler, Nicole, Danny, and Cody, were all like, well, this is a stupid plan. I didn't think Cody was going to be on board with it, but yeah. he, he was. Cody he was, was like, like, really on board. Yeah, he was really like, yeah, that's not a, like, why? It was, because, I mean... I still to this day don't understand what he has against it's David. It's great. It's a great idea to 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 separate those two. He's on it. They literally said he's on an island by himself. Yeah. So if you're on an island by yourself, you don't get rid of that person. It's a number that you can take in for yourself. And David's kind of a good person. You want to take to final two. Nobody's going to vote for him to win. Zero. So I'm just saying that's like way ahead of time. But I'm just saying. Um yeah, but I did like that they did, they weren't just being minions and they were just like, okay, whatever you say. Yeah. I mean, they kind of did. They were like, okay, I guess, but... Yeah, big big uh, game move on Tyler's end. He was awesome tonight, yes. But let's talk about the star of the show, Zingbot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, this was a Tiger Zing edition. That was funny. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Okay, let's talk about the Zings. So... Basically, for David, he's like, I can't believe you're here. We can't either. <laughs> totally agreed with that one. Enzo, you're 40 and you're still being called Meow Meow. I like Meow Meow. I think that's cute. Yeah. You know? I, at first, at first, to be honest, at first I was like, hey, guy, that's a little <laughs> that's a little weird. Well, I don't know what this whole Meow Meow, meow, meow thing is. And I don't know what you're, what you're getting at. But I started to like it. I, I don't mind it. Yeah. I didn't mind it at all afterwards either. I'm going to miss it. Um, and then Memphis, he called the giant number two. I agree. Because he is. I kind of agree with you on that one. You're a giant piece of two. <laughs> He's a number two. And then Cody, he basically said his IQ was 10. I don't know. I don't think. Nah. I don't think he's, yeah. He ain't dumb. I don't think he's dumb at all. I, no. I don't get that from him. Just because he's pretty, he's dumb. Yeah. Stop it. Okay. And then Danny, he said she looks old. That was rude. I'm probably the same age as Danny, and I would hate to be called old, Okay. <laughs> Anyway, that was a low blow. Christmas was probably my favorite thing of the night. He called her cold, stress-inducing, and annoying. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, and yep. Yep, yep. That I don't. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Are, are you are you having a good time, my life? Uh, he's so bored right now. He's laying down. <laughs> All right. He did not want to film tonight. <laughs> Too bad. It's okay. All right. And then Kevin. Basically, he nicknamed him boring. I don't know. Kevin's not boring. Yeah. Maybe he's uneventful. He's. Uh, it would have been funnier if they named him Eeyore. <laughs> mm, hey, guys. Hey, guys. I'm on the block again. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a good one. All right. And then he called Tyler a liar. I guess. His last season, he all he did was... Good one, Zingbot. Yeah, that, that one could have been better. There could have you been, did but real I think good. That just shows like what a likable guy Tyler is, for the most part. Not completely. Nobody's completely likable. Right? That's your best thing. Yeah. You're, you're a liar. Good one. Okay, and then... I'm so mad. <laughs> and then Davon was basically him making fun of her losing all reality competition shows that she participates in. I don't really think that there's much to say because it's true. And then Nicole, oh, this burned. I felt this. Yeah, this one was a little. Her. This one was good. This was the best thing. So he talks about how she whines and cries all the time, and that her voice is effing annoying. Okay, speaking from someone who has an annoying voice, 
You don't have an uh, annoying no, voice. No, I, I mean, I don't have the accent. I don't know if that's what he's talking you, about. You, I, no. It's like the whining. It's, I don't know which part. No, she has a nasally. I do and, too. No, you don't. I'm just you saying. Have a nas- she, okay, she has a nasally and a whiny voice. I think he agrees. I, oh, he perked up. You agree? So she does <laughs> whine and cry. Oh, no. We lost him again. He, she does whine and cry a lot, and it is annoying. She can be very annoying. Yes, she can. I just feel like this whole season we've just been saying bad things about Nicole, and now I feel bad. Yeah, I mean. But she, some things, I, I don't, she deserved it. So. It's, it's it's really, she's hard to like. It's as simple as like that. Like, more than ever. Anybody else agree? Like, yeah. I wasn't this upset yeah. with her in other seasons. Yeah, me neither. All right, we're almost done. Okay, okay so that was go. Zingbot. So. so now we're going to go on to the Power of Veto competition, which was a tiger zing maze with alien tigers. I don't, This that was a lot. I don't. That was, that, that was, that, that was too that was, obscure. that was too much. Yeah. As obscure as it gets. So, yeah, it was a maze, and Tyler won. So he is the Tyler King. Oh, that was good. Sorry. That was stupid. Um, I like that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so he did not throw the competition in Memphis. And what was so awesome about it was when Memphis confronted him about it, Tyler totally changed Memphis's mind. What? So yeah. Memphis, if, if you would have just listened and said, hey, what do you all think about this plan? Maybe yeah. you know what I Instead mean. Instead of like being like so aggressive, uh, like this is what you're doing because I'm yeah. H O H. Yeah, he thinks he's an alpha. You know what I mean? This whole alpha thing. That, uh, uh. And Tyler was right. It's like why take out David when clearly Javon is working with and possibly Kevin is working with Danny and Nicole. And I like Danny, but I this is a smart move. It, it was smart. So. Yeah, Memphis, I, hopefully this is a, a learning lesson for Memphis to maybe ask your alliance for their input and don't just tell people what to do. Okay, so but so he didn't use the veto, so I'm still kind of sad about it. So this is it's one of these two is going home. So It was obvious, man. This I game know. this game has has been written down the whole time. It's been easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm thinking that Davon is going home. I think oh, for sure. I think Why would Davon. you take Kevin down? Well, it's Ke- Kevin's the block. He's he's the blocker. He's the blocker. Yeah. He's a, he's a, bl- he's a, he, a yeah. Block guru is what block I call Block guru, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So also Davon is, I think, a bigger threat. And I think that. Yes. She won something. Oh, he I did mean, too. I he did too. Yeah, I know. That's really sad. Another woman will be going home tomorrow night. Great job. Best season ever. See, now I'm whining. <laughs> like Nicole. You know who I think is the only person probably sitting pretty right now is Enzo. Yeah. Not making any waves. Yeah. Being really Enzo, chill. I, Enzo plays the game. I didn't even right. know he was Did there. Did you forget? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. That. That's exactly how I would want to play it. I just like to fly under the radar. Right? Don't you think, like, maybe yeah, you Cody, wouldn't. but you still. You wouldn't because you're a woman. Oh. I guess they, that's how it goes. They tend to leave the, fir- the, the, the first. All right. Well, I'll be really sad to see Davon go. She's been very enjoyable to watch and gonna be so boring in the house without her you know yeah. her diary room sessions are hilarious yeah so, she's good at that yeah well, she's an acting coach so she yeah. is putting on a little bit of a show well i've liked it so thank you for your service it's tv <laughs> you're supposed to be doing it yeah and then apparently tomorrow we're supposed to look forward to a bb legend returning to talk about a new twist but <laughs> to keep us all interested I don't know, guys. Let us know what you think about this season, this episode, the zings. Do you think they were... I'm just excited that I haven't seen Julie's face. What? What's wrong with Julie? She's a robot, dude. No, she's not. The Chen bot thing is not a thing anymore. Or is it a thing? It's a thing, bro. I, I, she's really become, like, more okay. bubbly. This is my personal opinion. I can have those. You can. I don't like her. We're, you know what? All right. Well. She's just special there. Be careful. There's like diehard BB fans that are going to watch this. All four of them Fuck. that watch our show. <laughs> but think about it. Like, really, Julie? Buffers. I mean, she was n- nicknamed Chenbot probably for a reason. She's so cheesy. No, no, it's fine. Okay. Just be careful. All right. <laughs> I didn't say it. He did. <laughs> okay. That's all we have for tonight. We really should leave it on that. Thanks for acting enthusiastic tonight, Milo. (laughs) All right. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time for Eviction Night. Bye-bye, everybody.